Hi everyone, I hope you're all well. Welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon VGC 2019 Battle Series. We kicked off in our last episode with this team on the screen in front of you right now. If you'd like to go back and check out yesterday's episode to see how we kicked off with the team, you can click back up here. I'll put a card in for you to check that episode out. It was a lot of fun yesterday, so uh, I would recommend going and seeing that and then coming back into this one. We'll see where we can take the team today. As always, the team is down in the description below with a paste and a poker paste, roll paste as well for you guys to check out on your own time and try if you'd like to as well. It's a lot of fun, trust me. You won't regret it, but we'll dive straight into it today and carry on. So I'll just crank some music up for us and uh, we'll jump straight into it. As always, guys, if you enjoy this sort of content, please make sure to leave a like on the video. Do make sure that you uh, subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon content and leave your comments down below because I love nothing more than hearing from you all. But I hope you're all having a great day. It is bright and sunny outside. We've got um, our first opponent, so let's hop straight into team preview. Okay, so the first team that we're going up against today is going to be that Xerneas Groudon team. It is picking up a lot of popularity recently. Uh, we've got the Salamence, Tapu Lele, Incineroar, and Amoongus. So a little bit different from the variant that we played yesterday. Um, now, when we played this team the last time, we led with Xerneas Kangaskhan and we went for the bite shenanigans. I don't know if we're going to be able to utilize that as well today. The Amoongus throws up a few issues here, um, especially with setting up as Xerneas because of the clear smog, the, the potential to put us to sleep. Um, and the terrain does cause us some issues as well. Hmm. It's kind of like I really want Tornadoes here, even though the Prankster ability will be nerfed by the Tapu Lele. Um, having access to the Hurricane is super nice, and putting a Kyogre in, like just getting it in Tailwind, gives us a lot of room to kind of tackle this team. Although, hmm, it's difficult, isn't it? Hmm, what are we gonna do? I think we got Tornadoes, I think we got Kyogre. Um, Maybe Togedomaru here, and then I think we do need the Xerneas. Okay, well, lock in. We'll try this one and see if we can get on all right with this this combination in this one. Ah, uh, it's still all a learning curve because, I, as I say, I've only had like the two games yesterday with the team, and uh, one game before that before I brought it uh, into recording. So it's going to be a little bit of a learning curve for us, like myself and for you guys. But it's nice to do this together because I feel like this is a good way for us to kind of show how we play test things and then how we can tweak things to overcome stuff. Already, I'm noticing that. Uh, Psychic terrain can be a little bit oppressive for us to deal with, so it's something that we need to um, to just keep in mind going forward because we can't taunt the Amoongus. We can hurricane it, and we can origin pulse. Because um, once the thing is, once we get rid of the Amoongus, our matchup becomes a lot easier. The one thing that we have to worry about here, of course, is. Uh, Spall from Amoongus, obviously. Uh, the Tapu Lele can do big damage to our Kyogre. Um, and the Groudon can switch in, which is not good. Um, and I'm not really sure on the mechanics if Roll Play is actually blocked onto our own Kyogre if we use it because of the psychic terrain. I would imagine it would make sense if it was. Now, one of the things I'm probably going to just do here is just Hurricane the Amoongus and do I Ice Beam it or do I Origin Pulse it? Or do I just Protect? I just feel like the Groudon comes in. I'm going to Ice Beam it. If we can get rid of the Amoongus. Okay, we're not going to see any switches. Okay, there's a Psy Shock. Hopefully we can take this. It will do a big chunk of damage. There's a Hurricane. Okay, let's see where this goes. Could have Origin Pulsed. Like I said, that was pretty risky. We just want to make sure that we get rid of this Amoongus before anything else. So we do manage to get rid of it. And one of the things I would say be aware of with Amoongus is like it's still it's still a bit risky doubling into that slot because Amoongus now, unlike the previous two formats that we've had, are tending to carry um, Protect. So we could have really got caught out there. Now Kyogre is in a terrible position right now. Um because we're going to get Psy-Shocked for sure. We can Tailwind, um, and I'm going to switch in 
Do I switch into Ogdemaru here? Yeah, it's probably our best bet, to be honest. Um, yeah, let's switch into Ogdemaru. I think we need to preserve our Kyogre. We're going to see the Tapu Lele switch out. It means that our Togodomaru still has his Sash intact, which is the, the big thing here for us. Um, okay, Groudon hitting the field. Oh, it's gonna be it's gonna be difficult dealing with the um, the Xerneas, but we do have the Endeavor we can fall back on. I'd imagine the Xerneas here to go for the Geomancy. We will get the Tailwind up, and that's not blocked by the Psychic Terrain. There's a Geo. Geo, Geo, Geo. Okay. Now we need to nuzzle that Xerneas, for sure. It's just whether we can do it, and then get an Endeavor off. Because mm. I really want to be able to Endeavor it. <laughs> More than anything. Um... Not really got a switch in the back at the moment. We've got our Xerneas of our own in here. Hmm. What could we do? What could we do? What could we do? It depends on the speed of the Xerneas as well, you know, because if we could. I would imagine we see a Dazzling Gleam come out from the Xerneas and then a Precipice Blades. And that would be pretty bad for us. Um. I could hurricane, but we're blind. We're blind at this point, aren't we? And it's not really going to do too much. I mean, we could potentially just go into the Groudon and then go for that Nuzzle into the Xerneas. Let's try it. Let's try. Uh, it goes for the Protect. Okay. You know the one thing I do think if uh, Togunamaru is actually... If that is not max speed Xerneas, and we do avoid, so we're going to see the Precipice Blades. Okay, it doesn't affect Tornadus. Um, we could get the Endeavor off this next turn. And that would put us right back into the game. Because Tornadus should be able to take a Dazzle. And if we can do this, then with the Tailwind up, we can get Kyogre in and we can actually win this game. So let's see. If Togunamaru outspeeds the Xerneas, which I'm hoping because a lot of Xerneas are max speed. Let's format a lot of players. Yeah, we are. So we get the, the Endeavor. There we go. This is the, the beauty about this move. All we need is Tornadoes to actually survive uh, this. Yep, yeah, proc the berry. And can we take a Fire Punch? I'm hoping that we can. We are quite bulky. It's all about whether or not we hit the Hurricane, though. I mean, we hit the Hurricane. We're golden. Tornadoes! Still got it. Still got it, my friend. Okay, we get rid of the Xerneas. That... That works out pretty nice. Fire Punch. Okay, can we take this? Can we take it? Nah. Nah. Groudon too strong. But we got Kyogre coming in. Tabulele is choice locked. So we've got access to Origin Pulse. And we've got around Xerneas as well. So we should be able to just double up into the Lele now with a Moonblast. Origin Pulse. Get rid of the Lele. Uh, we've still got one turn of Tailwind. And the Groudon. If it's not... Well, it could be Jolly. So we still need to be super careful. But we've got the rain up, which is nice. It's just about whether our orange impulse hits or not. So come on, orange impulse. I believe you can hit. So that's all we need. Just a bit of belief. Believe in orange impulse. And we can keep this streak going. Um, I could Geomancy here, but I just want to get rid of the Lele because I know it's scarfed. So moon blasting orange impulse. Just seems like the better move. The Groudon is likely to protect to stall out the Tailwind um, and give itself a better opportunity going into the next turn. <sighs> I just don't think a Water Spout from this HP range is going to be strong enough to get the chip onto the Lele for us to get with Moonblast. That's why I need the, the Origin Pulse, which will be more than enough. So, let's see. Can we get it? Origin Pulse! No! Oh, we did it! We, oh, but, but, we get the Groudon. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, the Groudon not protecting is alright. That would have been the worst case scenario if the Groudon protects there. Because now Xerneas, like the Lele can only really target one thing. And if it locks into Dazzle and Gleam, then we get it. Okay, Psy Shock. Yeah, now you've locked into that. That's fine. You can only target one thing and we still win. Potentially. We need Origin Pulse to hit, obviously. 
But the psychic terrain leaving the field as well does help us out a lot. <laughs> Man, you know it, we always do it. We say it and it, it happens. I mean, I'm pretty pleased. I'd rather it missed um, the Lele than the grab on there though. Psyshock will be able to take this um, and Origin Pulse. Redeeming yourself, Kyoga, I see. Uh, oh, we are able to pick up another victory. So, very good game to my opponent and uh, nice to see the team performing so well. So, this is... Um, it was a close one. All about Togodomaru there. The Endeavor. I love Endeavor. Togodomaru with the Sash. It's so good. There's always that cheeky little opportunity there where you can play maybe sturdy bluff the lightning rod but i feel with tornadoes and kyogre in this team lightning rod is kind of needed and um you can do it i think in best of one but best of three probably not going to get away with it once it's revealed because and you haven't got the ability to then switch in togonomaru from the back to take those electric type attacks so you do miss that a little bit but it does free up an option an item option there on it if you do decide to be a bit cheeky and go for that sturdy so um we'll switch over to uh Top screen. Let's go with Johto Legend here. Why not? So we're creeping back up to 1700, which is nice. So on the on the right road at the minute. Um, hopefully we don't take too long to find the next opponent. If it does, as always, guys, we'll just cut to it and we'll come straight back when we bump into our next opponent. And we've got our next opponent of the episode. We've got Oliver from Japan. He is running a team of. We'll jump straight into team preview. This one is an interesting one. So Oliver is running a team of Gothitelle, Incineroar, Groudon, Rayquaza. We've got the Tapu Fini and the Kangaskhan. So, hmm, what do we do here? There's obviously Trick Room from my opponent's side of the field. That's probably their predominant kind of speed control here. Um, gonna have the Groudon set up in there. You probably got Heal Pulse on the Gothitelle as well. Now, Tornadus can do super well at just really disrupting that um, on my opponent's side of the field. One thing we could potentially do is go to Hornetus. And hmm, the Rayquaza makes things a little bit tricky, so we definitely need some fake out support of our own here to prevent that. Um, let's go Kyogre in the back and Xerneas. Xerneas or Togodomaru? I think Xerneas. Yeah, because once we get it, if we can deny the, the, the trick room, then it's it's all going to be fine. So let's get into this one, see if we can overcome this one and keep the this hot streak going. That's what we want to see, the hot streak going. But it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy. And the Gothitelle could have something like Z trick room. It could have mental herb as well to prevent a trick room. But I think having a fast fake out next to us here does alleviate that to somewhat, to some extent. I kind of feel like I want to bring Serena here as well. It does help us out a little bit. We're going to see um, the Incineroar come out with the Gothitelle. I'm going to leave with Kang. Um, I think I'm just going to fake out into the Incineroar here and just taunt the Gothitelle. Although, it does leave us a little bit wide open to Mental Herb. It would be better just preventing the U-turn from the Incineroar fake out in, mm, I don't know, or do we just trade fake outs here? Um, just go Taunt and uh, Mega Evolve fake out into Goth, I think that's maybe a little bit better. Because I'm in prerog prerogative right now, if I can speak, uh, is to stop this Trick Room. If the Trick Room goes up, things get very, very... Very, very bad, very quickly. So, let's fake out from Kanga. Stop this Gothitelle. Fake out. I. So, the one reason why I did this is because if it does have Mental Herb, we can bite into that slot now and we can taunt. Um, so, at least if it's got the Mental Herb, we've got the bite to kind of fall back on to hopefully flinch it if a Mental Herb does activate. Now, um undoubtedly we'll see the Incineroar U-turn out here. Could Z-move? Uh, the Gothitelle could protect, but let's hope none of those things happen. Uh, there's a protect. Yeah, we see it. We see it happening. There we go. Okay. There's the taunt. Uh, unless the Incineroar's got a Z-move, then I'm not really too worried about... Okay, so 
attacking turn. Now what comes in? Does Kangaskhan come in from my opponent? They had a Kangaskhan, right? I'm pretty sure they did. Hmm. Who knows? I can't check. Now it's Rayquaza. Okay. Ray Ray. You're going to be faster than both of my Pokemon. But I can't afford not to... Uh, you see, I want to taunt. I've got to taunt. Mm, but I want a Tailwind because that puts us in a great position going... Uh, but if I Tailwind and they Trick Room and the Bite doesn't... Yeah, I've got to, I've got to just go for the, the Gothitelle. We can't switch out with Kang here, but we can... Um, we can return the Rayquaza. And if Tornadoes can stick around for a turn, that would be amazing. There it is, it's going to Mega Evolve. Thanks to Prankster though. We will be able to get a taunt off onto the Gothitelle. It's just now if it's got the Mental Herb. And this is like Banded Ray. I think get a bit dicey for us. There's a taunt. Do we see the Mental Herb? <laughs> ah, it's there. And we actually outspeed the Rayquaza, which kind of indicates that it's maybe an Assault Vest. Return not doing that much damage, we could have went for the bite as well. I fear that we're going to lose something here. It's probably, yeah, it's going to be our Tornadus. And we're going to see a Trick Room. Hmm. Okay. Not so good. Okay. Well, Mental Herb makes sense. Especially in a best of one kind of situation. Oh, what do we bring in now? Kyogre? No, I don't think we bring in Kyogre. I think we've got to try and stall out. Um, there's no point of biting with Kangaskhan. Ah, uh, this Rikaza, I feel like it's just going to rip us apart now. Because it's obviously going to be super slow. Mm, we don't want to... We don't want a Geomancy here. I think we just... Mm, do we just Dazzle? Dazzle, yeah. Razzle, Dazzle. And go for... Returning to Gothitelle. Mm. Yeah, this is going to be tricky. We've got ourselves into a position where... Uh, uh, okay. Helping hand, Dragon Ascent. Where are you going this turn? My little Rayquaza into our poor Kangaskhan. Okay. We'll be able to get rid of the Ray. But I mean going to be very difficult from here because the Groudon is going to be in the back. Um, and if my opponent brings in their Groudon now, we'll mean... Hmm. We do get our weather up, but they're probably smarter than that and want to bring in Incineroar, I think. So... Oh. Nope. But we are the slowest thing on the field, I would imagine. We'll be slower than this crowd on yet. But the Gothitelle, okay, it's got Trick Room. It's got Protect. It's got Helping Hand. It's got to have an attacking move, I think. Unless it has no attacking move, and it's just got Skill Swap, and then it cannot do anything. Ha! <sighs> Let's see. The Helping Hand Precipice Blades is going to be pretty nasty, though. That's the thing. I Like, Kyogre should take it, right? I think we take a, a helping hand press of his blades. I'm going to say we do. And I'm going to Geomancy at this point. Because how many turns of Trick Room we got left? Three. Oh, man. We could double protect here, but it does give my opponent a bit of an opportunity to switch their board around. Okay. Let's just, let's just Geo and Origin Pulse. Let's see what my opponent goes for here. Groudon switching out. Okay, like to see this. Gothitelle maybe protects. It doesn't really help us out at all because... Well... No, it still doesn't really help us out. I mean, yeah, the Gothitelle protecting. We can stall out the Trick Room for sure. It's like we need one less turn of Trick Room to kind of... 
to really kind of have a bit more momentum in this game because there's two turns left. Gradon comes back in, we protect the trick room, runs out, and then we can maybe do something where we can ice beam, Moonblast the Gothitelle, predict and the protect on the Groudon, but with that extra turn, it's not so ideal. I mean, if we miss here, that would have been better almost if we miss, but we don't miss. Okay, and the Groudon coming in. Gonna, gonna undo all of our work, get rid of our rain, bring that desolate line back to the field. And we definitely see a helping hand, Precipice Blades. Now, one thing we could potentially do here is Moonblast that off the tail. Because I feel confident that the Xerneas has, that it can take the Precipice Blades a lot better. A lot better than the um, the Kyogre here, so we will protect Olga. If we can remove that helping hand, then Kyogre can definitely take a Precipice Blades and definitely get itself into a position to take down the Groudon. There we go. That's what we're gonna see. Helping hand, P Blades. So we'll protect this turn. Get rid of the Gothitelle here with a Moonblast. We definitely will. Precipice Blades. Might even miss, you know. Ah, oh, there we go. Puts us in a way better position. Get rid of... <laughs> you know when you call it, and it happens. So we get rid of the Gothitelle. Now we're in a bit of a better position, because Kyogre can definitely take one Precipice Blades, and maybe that's all we need to do now. Um, it definitely... That miss definitely puts Xerneas in a way better position now, because we can just go Moonblast, Ice Beam, and my opponent needs... Needs the hit to start with. And probably needs crit, crit. So here we go. Key blades. It's a damage like. Big damage. Okay, but no, this is fine. Ice beam. It's not bad. Boom blast. It's no bad, and yeah, Ice Beam will take it down the next turn. Dimension turn back to normal. Moonblast going to be able to deal with the Groudon, so that's what we'll just lock into. Xerneas will be able to take all the glory, and Reindeer is still pulling through. When I thought this one might be the one that we actually lose today, but uh, we managed to kind of pull ourselves through this, and my opponent just forfeits. So very good game to my opponent, and uh, another nice win for the team. So we'll wrap it up there, guys. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. It has been a lot of fun again, and we are exploring the team a little bit more as we get through these matches, and we'll do so as we go through the, the episodes this week. It's going to be a lot of fun, and uh, I really do, and I'm looking forward to reading your comments, thoughts on the team, and how today's games have been for you, uh, and hope you've enjoyed them and uh, hope you like the team as well so do let me know down below and I look forward to reading through those as soon as I get around to it in a little bit of time so have a great day though guys thank you so much for tuning in and we'll see you all for the next one so until then take care and bye bye